so good evening everyone okay today we are going to see calendar okay this is the very important topic uh, in your uh, state public service commission as well as the union public service commission yes if you go through the previous year question paper at least one question was there in 2021 there was a question with respect to your calendar and also in 2022 there was a question with respect to your calendar so therefore this topic plays a vital role nowadays okay uh, doesn't required any formulas etc it just uh, required only the basic understanding about uh, the basic calendar and then uh, navigations yearly navigation monthly navigation and then date navigation so this only required okay nothing else required and some shortcuts also important okay so after this nothing else required okay so first of all uh, let me give you some uh, basic idea about uh, this thing okay you people learnt uh, about a uh, number of days okay those things uh, you people learnt in your school days okay gregorian calendar so these things and all you people learnt in your school days okay so now uh, i'll give you the basic uh, details about uh, such okay so here what you need to do is uh, you need to know some facts related to this okay so here you know the average solar year okay which means that the time taken time taken by earth to rot orbit or rotate the sun revolves the sun so it takes so uh, 365 full days and on by 4 days okay so this is nothing but 365 1 by 4 is nothing but 25 days so this is only the approximate okay or else you can say which is less than 365 5.25 also so here i'm giving you 365 days then 5 hours then 48 minute 48 minute and 46 seconds okay 46 seconds so this is the basic thing so from this you are moving with the normal year okay so a normal year contains normal year contains 365 days okay and then a leap year contains 366 days okay so here in a normal year if you divide this with the 7 you will get down 52 here then we'll get one year so therefore you can say that in a normal year you are having 52 weeks plus one extra day okay this one extra day we call that as a odd days while solving a problem we call that as a odd days okay so here in a leap year you are getting same but 52 weeks but you will get a two extra days okay so the four here 52 week plus two extra days okay so these two extra days we call that as a odd days okay so this is with respect to a leap year and then this is with respect to normal year or else you can call this as or so or is nothing but the ordinary here okay so then we need to 
know about uh, some basic facts about uh, the leap year, century year, non-century year. So those things we need to understand. So these are all basic things. So let us see that uh, also. So here, how to calculate uh, for non-century year? So here, for non-century year, okay. Divide the given, divide the given by 4, divide by 4, okay. If R is equal to 0, R means a remainder, okay. If remainder is equal to 0, then, wait a minute, somebody is joining. <coughs> Fine. So you, shall I proceed? So if a, a given year is divided by 4, which means that a remainder is 0, then that year is said to be a leap year. Okay, otherwise it is not a leap year. My question, 1978, whether it is a leap year or not leap year, non-leap year. 1978, that year is a leap year or non-leap year. Non-leap year. Okay, it's a non-leap year. So NLP means non-leap year. So listen carefully. Simple. Don't divide fully. Okay. Okay. What is the uh, divisibility by four? The divisibility by four concept is check the last two digit. If the last two digit is divisible by or else multiple of four, then the whole thing is divisible by four. Then you can say that year as a leap year or else it's a non leap year okay 1976 it's a leap year understood 76 it's a divisible by 4 therefore 1976 is a divisible by 4 yes completely you will get the remainder as 0 therefore it is a leap year so now for a century year listen this is for a non century year then this is for a century year i'll give you the notes okay whatever i'm writing i'll give you the hand note okay don't worry <coughs> for a century year so for example listen 1900 it's a century year then this is also century year then 1000, 1800 is also a century year, 1600 is also a century year, okay. For a century year, what you need to do is, divide a given with a 400, divide a given with a 400, then if the remainder is 0, then you call that as a century year, okay. You call that as a leap year. In a century year, it's a leap year, or else you can call that as a non leap year. So, now you people tell me among these four, among these four century years, which one is the leap year, which one is not a leap year? Two thousand thousand six hundred, two thousand and a thousand six hundred. This both are a leap year. This is non leap year, then this is non leap year. People understood, even though it's a century year, but not a leap year. Okay, I hope everyone is clear with the how to find out the leap year and how to find out the non leap year first. Why we are saying to find leap year and non leap year, these things and all we are going to see right now. So, here. For example, in general, so here <coughs> you need to identify the odd days. So how to calculate the odd days in a month? In a month, okay. So here in month contains uh, in a year there are twelve months, right? January, February, March, April, May, 
जून जुलाई अगस्त सितंबर अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर नो लिसन सो हाउ मेनी ऑड डेज यो इन द जनवरी 3 3 ऑड डेज यो ओके लिसन आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू सो इन यो जनवरी टोटली योर कंटेंट्स 31 डेज जस्ट डिवाइड दैट विद 7 सो फोर्स आर 28 द रिमाइंडर इज गोइंग टू बी द ऑड डेज व्हाट इज द रिमाइंडर हियर 3 okay the for in january you are getting 3 odd days so those who are <coughs> new please learn this uh, odd days concept also okay in february there are two things out there you should be careful here one is leap year and another one is non leap year in a non leap year february contains 28 days which means that zero odd days here here Zero odd days. In the leap year, February contains twenty-nine, right? Twenty-nine days. So therefore, in the February, one odd day with respect to your leap year. So in the March, <coughs> totally thirty-one days. So therefore, three odd days here. Then in the April, thirty days. Therefore, two odd days here. May thirty one, therefore three odd days here. Therefore June thirty, therefore two odd days here. So here three odd days. August also contains three odd days since <coughs> September it's a two odd days. October you are having three odd days. November you are having two odd days. December you are having three odd days. People understood so far. Sir, fine. Sir, this odd days concept is important, so that is why we are taking uh, so much of uh, importance to find out uh, these things. Sir, I didn't understand this concept, please. <coughs> which one? Which one? Sir, how to take out three odd days and two odd days? Okay. In April, how many days are there in April? Thirty <coughs> days. So thirty. Thirty. Divide that with the seven. Seven four sa twenty eight. So remainder is two. The remainder is nothing but the number of odd days. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Fine. <coughs> so now, shall I move on to the next one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we need to know about assigning. Okay. So first of all, assign the odd days. So always remember zero for Sunday. Zero for Sunday. Then one for Monday. Two for Tuesday. Then a three. Wednesday. So basics is very important. First thirty minutes is very important. Listen carefully. Four is Thursday, five is Friday, then six is Saturday. Okay. So this is important. Then in hundred years, hundred years, how many number of days are there? Anybody? i know already my old students also here they may know okay they may not know also if they know na they can answer okay you are welcome to answer in under years how many odd days are there no to no, sir no no azina rajesh pratyush no va uh, okay we will revise Okay, Five. it's a kind of a revision. Okay, we'll revise. So here, in the hundred years, you are having five odd days. Five odd days. Yes, five odd days. So therefore, listen carefully. Two hundred years, you are having three odd days. So shortcut, I will tell you the shortcut. Five three one zero. It's a number. It's a like a number. You need to remember. So in the three hundred years. I will. If you want, I will adjust. Uh, 
<coughs> make a detailed answer also how to get a five odd days with respect to 100 then it is quite easy to with respect to remaining things so anybody needs yes sir so in your 400 years yes, yes sir it's a zero or this so therefore listen carefully so these numbers are very important 5310 it's like a some number like a, your password etc so try to remember 5310 <coughs> okay 5310 okay So, you got it, huh? 5310. Understood, huh? 5310. You remember it, huh? So, please yes, try to remember 5310. 5 for 100 years, 3 for 200 years, 1 for 300 years, 4 for 0 for 400 years. Always remember, whatever be the year, always try to split it into 400 years therefore the number of odd days is going to be a zero okay number of odd days is going to be a zero and one more thing i will add here okay i will add here so now listen some additional information okay these are all additional information okay mm, sometimes it's required sometimes it may not require so your first six months carries how many odd days with respect to normal year first six months in your normal year See your normal year <coughs> six month till June 13. <laughs> 13, sir. 13 divided by 7. 13 divided by 7. 6. Ah, six. six odd days. Okay, six odd days here. So, therefore, in your leap year, in your leap year, zero odd days with respect to first six month. Understood? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, People, sir. understanding this one or else? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Anybody needs? Okay. So now, so like this, uh, you need to uh, keep it uh, some simple, simple things with respect to your mind. Okay. So normal year contains, okay, first six months, uh, normal year contains six uh, odd days. So therefore, leap year contains uh, zero odd days. Okay. Leap year contains zero odd days. Okay. So like that, <coughs> you split up. Uh, First three months, first six months, and then first nine months, like that, you, you may split also. Okay. So now, if people need it right here, fine. So, how to calculate? So, if people need it, uh, how to calculate that phi? Yes, sir. Fine, listen carefully. <clears throat> Whatever we are going to see here, the same method can be applied with uh, any other problem also. Okay, any other problem? Okay, so now listen carefully. So, 100 years in your 100 years. Okay, now listen 100 years whether it is the century year, but it is so ordinary year, right? It's an ordinary year, even though it's a century year. People understanding, huh? Yes, sir. Even though yes, sir. it is a ordinary year. Why it is a ordinary year? Since it divided is not by divisible 400. by 400. Not Understood? Divided by yes, it is yes, not sir. divided by 400. Century year means, it's a century year. Under is a century year. But it is not divided by 400. Therefore, it is an ordinary year. So, what you need to do is, just, uh, you need to split. Uh, okay. You need to split. Uh. So, here, in this uh, 100 years, so how many leap years are there? 25. Once again, once again, try. How many? So listen carefully, 100 years means you need to calculate with the 0 to 99. Understood? Uh? People understanding? Uh? Then, what is the last four table of uh, before 99? 96, sir. 96. Right. 96. So, 4 into dash is equal to 96, sir. 
24 yes the four 24 leap year are there then how many non leap year are there out of 100 subtract that 76 ordinary year understood now listen carefully leap year contains how many odd days two two odd days you have to multiply with it here since uh, one leap year contains two odd days therefore 24 leap year contains 24 into two odd days so here 76 into ordinary year contains one odd days right now calculate this 48 plus 76 what is 48 plus 76 124 just divided by 7 always remember the odd days you need to divide if it is divisible by 7 surely you have to divide and you have to take the remainder as the number of odd days okay fine now if you are dividing this how many weeks are there 17 week will be there the remainder 5 will be there 5 days will be there so therefore in 100 years how many odd days you 5 odd days understood ah no sir no sir sir why see why you are not understanding please yes, tell me it is very clear statement sir so how this the 24 leap year scheme sir sir listen carefully there are 100 years 0 to 99 so your how could you calculate uh, that uh, leap year whenever you are divisible by 4 then it is a leap year 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40 44 48 52 56 60 64 understood or not 68 72 76 80 84 88 92 96 understood yes sir so yes 24 are there what is the shortcut way see you need to identify the number of okay 99 before that four table is 96 so 4 into dash is equal to 96 It's a simple four multiple. Four into dash is equal to ninety-six. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-four leap years are there. Or else you need to calculate like this. Uh, Ismail, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, then twenty. So if you add, if you one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> so like that. Uh, if you add, then surely, then also we will get twenty-four numbers. Totally understood, uh, Ismail. Yes, sir. Fine. So the four, sir. Yes. Sir, one question. Why are we taking zero to ninety-nine, not one to hundred? Always, you need to take with respect to zero. So zero. So why you are saying so nine nine zero zero one zero two zero three zero four? So the four, it start with a zero zero, then zero one, then zero two, zero three, like that only. Pratish, got it? Okay, sir. Right. Sir, so, why you are multiplying with the two sir into twenty four sir? Yes, why I am multiplying twenty four. So now, listen carefully. One leap year contains two odd days. Then twenty four leap year contains how many odd days? Twenty four into two. Understood? Ah, smile. No sir. No sir. See one leap year contains two odd days. Then twenty four leap year contains twenty four into two. Understood? You are having two rupees with you. Okay. Twenty four two rupees coins are there totally. Then what would be the result? And is my Why are you silent? You are having two rupee coins, right? Okay. Finally, you are having twenty-four two rupee coins. Whether you will multiply that two with twenty-four two rupee coins or not, just say this smile. Forty-eight, sir. Ha! Simple. 
that is what uh, we have done here understood ah sir leap year la ore or odd days thana ma irukku sir madam non leap year only contains one odd day leap year contains two odd days please listen carefully see you see you leap year contains how many odd days sorry sir two odd days no need of sorry but Okay. be clear with the basic concepts okay, okay, okay. doubts are always welcome no, no. 76 yes. every one sir so totally 100 years ah 24 leap year means remaining years remaining odd years 100 minus 24 understood ah okay sir totally okay, 100 sir. years out of this 24 leap year means the four 76 non leap year understood ah Understood, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Fine. So Fine. I still mm. have one doubt mm. uh, regarding the zero to ninety-nine. So is is this the ideal scenario? Because let's say if we are calculating from year two thousand to two thousand ninety-nine, so so how many leap years will be there, sir? Like there should be twenty-five, right? Because two thousand should also be the leap year. Two thousand. Yeah, year two thousand. If we are calculating the leap years from mm. year two thousand to two thousand ninety-nine, mm. so how many leap years would be there? You should not take the last one. You should take the initial one. Yes, we will do a problem. Then you can easily understand. Okay. okay. While calculating, anyhow, we are going to start with the two thousand only. Okay. Yeah. We will. I will teach you that also. Okay, then only you people uh, will get uh, some clarifications. Okay. Okay. Sir. But always remember, under is the leap year or not? Under is the leap year or not? Simple. It it is. Huh? How it is? Under is the leap year? Yeah. Under is not no, a leap year. No, don't make another place for under. Understood or not? Initially, I have already mentioned under is not a leap year. Under is an ordinary year. See here. See, under is a century year. If the century year is divisible by 400, then only it is a leap year. When under is not divisible by 400, you have to treat that as a ordinary year. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So any other doubts? It's a basic concept. Yes, you may raise your doubts. No means I will move on to the next one. Shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. Okay. Always remember, Pratyush. Always remember, it starts with zero zero one, zero 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 two, zero zero three. Like that only you need to start. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. Then. So now listen. Uh, this thing. So how could you calculate a 200 years? Simple. So 100 years, why are days 200 years? Means what? You need to multiply with the two. Then here multiply with the two. Ten. Ten odd days will be there. Divided by seven. How many odd days? Always remember, when whatever the number which is divisible by seven, surely you have to divide. Then take the the number which means the the remainder as the number of odd days. If the number is not divisible by seven, then only you have to stop. Understood? Ah. Yes, so now, similar way you can uh, calculate with the three hundred also. Hundred into three, right? The four here, five into three, fifteen. So fifteen, right? Fifteen can be divisible by seven. Yes. What would be the remainder? One. One hundred days. Yes. Very good. Now move on with the four hundred. Hundred into four. Obviously, here. Understanding or not? Yes, sir. 400 yes, is sir. is a directly it is a leap year. Yes. Leap year. It's a purely divisible by 400. Yes. Understood, I everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Fine. So basic. See, people be strong with the basics. Okay. The problem is problem and all not an uh, issue. basic what you need to do is you need to understand the basics so that is the thing you need to learn so now so gradually uh, so we are discussing the concept 
I'll give you the uh, one more concept. This is the very important concept that you need to remember here. Okay, very important com concept. So here, this concept is a very important repetition. Repetition of your calendar. Very important concept. <clears throat> simple note only. Please remember this simple note. Simple, it's a simple trick also. So try to remember this. So it's a note also. Every leap year calendar, every leap year calendar repeats in 28 years. Very important note. Uh, if you know this note, it's easy to solve the problem without any answer the problem without any calculations. Now, the second point is very, very important point. See, those who are having a doubt with respect to second point, you may immediately ask. Okay, I will tell you. So, this is with respect to non leap year, or else you can call this as a ordinary year. Call this as a ordinary year. So, therefore, non leap year calendar repeats. Listen carefully. This is the important non leap year calendar also repeats. <coughs> You should be very careful here. Repeats. I am splitting into two. Repeats every six years. Every six years. Every six years. The important note is this is okay. The year comes. This note is important. This year comes immediately after leap year. Let me complete and I will give you the example. Now, every non leap year, ordinary year repeats 11 years, that is, next to non leap year. So now, Shall I give you an example for this, for a better understanding? Yes, sir. I will give you an example. Listen carefully. This example is very important. Now tell me, 2020, whether it's a leap year or not? Leap year. Leap year, sir. Leap year. Leap year. Leap year, sir. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. 2021 repeats after how many years okay the calendar of 2021 repeats in which year 2027 that was the question in your upsc 2021 you got it in your upsc 2021 that was the question i will tell you the exact question we will discuss that exact question also. Listen carefully. So, now read the statement here. Okay. They read the statement here. It's a leap year. Okay. 2020 is a leap year. My question is, the calendar of 2021 repeats after how many or else repeat in which year? So, that is the question. Now listen. 2027. 20, 20, yes, yes. Whatever you people saying is 2027 20, is the right answer. But listen carefully. What you need to do is you need to check with last two. 2021. This 2021 before year is the leap year. Before year is the leap year. Then obviously you need to go with the, this one. Now read. Now read. The year comes immediately after leap year. Repeats every six years once. Understood? So, therefore, 2021, I add 6, therefore, 2021, 27. Understood? Therefore, 2021 calendar repeats again in 2027. People understood? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. These two things are very, very important. So, that is why I talk. 
I am explaining this much. Now listen. Now, 2023 repeats after how many years? Which means, my question is, 2023, so you are going to face the 2023 UPSC. Please listen this one. 2023, UPSC is playing this kind of things. Okay. This year also, they have played beautifully. That question was a beautiful question. Calendar question. Okay. 2023. Now listen. 2023 calendar repeats in which of the following year? My options are... Hmm? 20? 34. 20, 34. 20, 34. 20, 34. Everyone getting 20, 34, right? Yes, sir. So fine. Listen. So now listen carefully. Next two non leap years after the leap year. So now listen carefully. So this is 2020 is the leap year. Next two means what? 2022 and 2023. So that is the next one. Okay. Next two after this. Okay. This one is immediately, but it is not the immediately. So now 2020 and then 2024 between these three years are there. 2021, 2022, 2023. This 2021 immediately after the leap year. This is not the immediate, but the next two non leap years. Okay. This repeats every 11 years once. So therefore, we are right now in the 2022. This calendar repeats again in 2033. Understood? Yes, sir. So now you people are going to face 2023 exam. Therefore, please be careful with this. Okay. If you are having a doubt, you may rise with this concept. Now okay. listen carefully. Okay. Every leap year calendar. 2020, 2020 calendar repeats in which year? 2048. Yes, 2048. See here. Every leap year calendar repeats in 28 years. <coughs> Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, Fine. sir. Very good. Very good. Shall I move on? So the second part, please. Can you explain 11 year part, please? 11 year part. Simple. My kind request is while I am explaining, please look out the screen. I'm. Uh, it's my obligation to everyone. So listen carefully. Look the screen. That is very important. So 2022, 2023 is nothing but the years which comes after the leap year. So 2023, 2020 is the leap year. 2021, 2022, 2023 comes after this uh, leap year. The year which immediately follows repeats every six years. The year which immediately follows, immediately follows means this 21. Immediately follows which repeats every six years. The next two years, the next two years repeats every 11 years. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got it? Uh? Fine. Now, now let us move on with the one more concept. It's not a concept. We move on with the one question. So that is the UPSC question. You people now easily will answer. Okay. Let me give that question. See those who are already done, please be quiet. I'm expecting answers from the people. Those who haven't came across this question. Which day is 10th October 2027? A. Sunday B. Saturday C. Monday D. Uh, Sunday, Saturday, Monday then I will take some other day or else I will use none of this. So none of this. I am using none of this. So this is UPSC 2021 question. Those who know the answer please quiet. But everybody 
don't be quite okay i want at least some participants answer dipti you attended ah this 2021 those who attended 2020 anu yes sir you know the answer ah sandhi sir you know the answer ah i don't know how to do sir but i put sunday sir <laughs> you put sunday but you don't know how to fine 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 aisha aisha you attended ah 2021 no sir no sir no then then could you able to analyze or could you able to guess the answer for this one sir i think it's sunday but i don't know how to do it <laughs> everybody everybody is saying sunday then charulata dinesh dinesh you attended okay deepthi deepthi and charulata you people know ah both are silent aishwarya ilavarsi <coughs> aishwarya ilavarsi you people know ah sunday so sunday you people are saying sunday see listen carefully 2021 na 2021 you people sitting in that examination hall okay that day was a sunday that day was a sunday okay you were present in that examination hall on sunday simple logic is 2021 right 2021 comes after the leap year which means that the immediately comes which repeat every 6 years once so therefore here 2027 calendar repeats the same as 2021 so therefore october 2027 10th is also going to be the sunday you people just sitting on that day it's required analytical skill simple <coughs> understood ah everyone how to do this yes sir this is yes sir the analytical one okay it's a simple one but i will tell you the procedure proper procedure shall we do the proper procedure yes sir so now listen yes, carefully sir. if you listen now if you able to solve this question i am very sure that it is one of the best method to solve any kind of question yes i will teach you this question listen carefully 10th october 2027 so what are the thing what you need to do is take this year 2027 right how to split this 2027 i always mentioned to try to split with respect to 400 years how many 400 years with respect to 2027 about 2000 right yes or no about 2000 Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So now listen carefully. You need to split this as a 26 years, not 27 years, since that the 27th year is going to be the 10th October. Understood? Yeah, to split yes, like yes, this. Sir. Now listen. After completing full 26 years, how many months are there? January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August. How many odd days are there with respect to October? Ten. Understood? Ah. How to split? Since you need to identify the number of odd days. Number of odd days. Number of odd days is going to be your answer. Simple. Sir, what about September, sir? August, September, October. Ah, fine. Yes, sir. then we will take a september i am week in the calendar <laughs> fine dinesh dinesh fine now yes sir okay fine dinesh now listen this 2000 is completely divisible 400 right yes sir okay. then obviously it contains zero or days yes or no yes sir she smile listen carefully In this 26 years, how many leap year are there? How many non leap year are there? In this 26 years, just move on with the four table. Simple. Six. Before, yes. Six leap years. Yes. Yes. Before this uh, 26, 24 will be there. 
So 4 into dash is equal to 24, 4 into 6. Therefore, 6 leap year will be there. Then 20 non leap year will be there. Understood? Yes, sir. Fine. So now, listen carefully. Here, this 20, 27 is a non leap year. Therefore, you should be very careful with the February. Remaining and all, not an issue. So now, listen. January contains 3 odd days. February contains 0 odd days. Why 0 odd days? It's a non leap year. March contains 2. No, 3. March contains 3. April contains 2. May contains 3. June contains 2. July contains 3. August contains 3. September contains 2. Then 10. Now listen carefully. 6 into the leap year contains 2 odd days. 1 leap year contains 2 odd days. Here totally 6 leap years are there. Therefore, I am multiplying 6 into 2. 1 non leap year contains 1 odd days. Here totally 20 non leap year there. Therefore, I am multiplying with the 20. Then how many odd days you had? 6. Then 8. 11. 13, 16, 19, 21, 31. Right. Now here. This is 12. 20 plus 31. So totally 51, 63. 63. Yeah. So divide that is 63 by 7. You will get a 0 odd days. How many odd days? Zero. Zero days. Zero defines for Sunday. Sunday. The same day. Sunday. Yes. People check the answer. Both are same. Huh? Here Sunday. Yes, here sir. Sunday. This is the simple logic. This is the proper method. But learn proper method to solve any kind of questions. Shall I give you one question here? Sir. Yes. Can't we start from 2021? Like 2021 will have one odd day, and then like that 22, 1, 23, 1, 24 plus 2. Yes, yes, like that. yes, yes, yes. That is another method. Uh, that is another method, Pratish. Okay. Yes, you can do that method also. Okay, sir. <clears throat> yes, Pratish, you can do. Since uh, uh, you can do 20, 20, uh, 2000 is the Sunday, like that, you can move on like that. Yes, sir. Like 2021, yes. it is like from there. Okay. Yes, you can do that also. Okay. But this is one method. This is the simplest method also. <coughs> here also, you are, here, sorry. Here also, you are getting the number of odd days. Okay. So, let me, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Yes. Now proceed. So now Pratish is saying another method. Okay, that method also you can do. So what I have done is that is one method. This method help you to solve without any kind of confusions. There also you are going to calculate the same. So your 10th October. See with this one question there are a lot of concepts out there. Please learn this. Listen carefully. 20, 27, right? Which day? Yes, Pratish. Proceed. So, sir, let's say if I, uh, <clears throat> first of all, from today, hmm. if, if, if I'm considering today, so from today, I'll have to first calculate what is the day 10th October 2022 would be. But because this question was asked in 2021, that day was Sunday. So we know that 10th October 2021 was Sunday. So from that, if I if we move from 2021 to 2022, there will be one odd day. Then in 2022 also, there will be one odd day. In 23 also, there will be one odd day. 2024 is a leap year, so it will have two odd days. Okay. Then again, 25 is non-leap year. There also yes. will have one odd day. And in 2026 also, we'll have one odd day. Okay. So, uh, till here, we are getting seven, uh, total seven uh, days. So, if we divide it. So, so th this is, 
uh, this will give us uh, for the 20 uh, till 2026 31st of after 2026 and then later on we'll have to calculate for the months jan feb march till october okay uh, according to the months uh, for example so, uh, again uh, 2027 uh, is a non leap year so we'll have three odd days in jan and uh, zero in feb and then in march we'll have three in april we'll have two in may we will have uh, three then in june two then in july three then again in august we'll have three then in september we'll have two so we'll have to stop at september and add everything So there, there we are getting 21. So again, uh, because uh, till the start of the year, we were zero odd days. Mm. And again, we are getting 21, which is, so we can say like 21 divided by seven, we'll again get, get zero odd days. So that zero odd days will translate into the day sign day. Okay. That's how we can was saying. Fine. Yes, that is also one method you can do. So now listen, 2022 contains one not day, 2023 contains one not day, 2024 contains two odd days, 2025 contains one not day, 2026 contains one not day, 7 contains one, 8 contains two odd. 2008 you were... Sir, for 2021, you're doing 2001, sir. Sir, I'm doing this way, sir. This is another method. This is another method. Okay? okay. This is another method. This is another method. Okay? See, lot of methods are there to solve this kind of questions. People listening, huh? Yes, sir. Fine, fine. Then. Two, uh, three, uh, so here, four, five. Uh, Twenty-five, uh, sir. Five, one, uh, one. So now, people add add everything. How many odd days are you? Add everything. This one. This one. This one. This one. Nine, sir. Nine, ah. Huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Here. Eight. Eight, ah. Uh. Here. Yes, eight, ah. Uh. Okay, ah. Uh. Totally, how many odd days here? So here, here, here. Five. So last. So last, last, last should be nine. Last one is nine. Last call. Yes, sir. Nine, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Fine, fine. Now add this. Five plus nine plus eight plus nine. Thirty-one. 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 Thirty-one, sir. Twenty-three. Thirty-one, na. Thirty-one. Fine. Sir. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Thirty-one, na. So 26 years over. Okay. Then uh, over, uh, 26 years, sir. Uh. Yes, sir. Yes. Then sir. Uh, uh, again move on. Uh. Month wise. Yes, sir. January 3. Then uh, first six month contains how many? Six uh shortcut. First six month contains six uh. Yes, sir. Then uh, uh, July 3. August 3, then September 2, 
அக்டோபர் 2 அக்டோபர் 10 அக்டோபர் 10 சோ ஆட் எவ்ரிதிங் ரிமைண்டர் ராஜசேகரிங்க <laughs> பிரதிஷ்ஸ்கான் <coughs> So year six, therefore Monday plus six is going to be the answer. Monday plus six is going to be the answer. Monday plus six is nothing but the Sunday. So Sunday. this way also we can do. This is another method. Okay. See, lot of methods are there to solve your problem. Okay. So I am suggesting you to go with uh, this method also. So if you are doing this method, what I am saying you is exactly you need to take off. sunday monday zero whatever the number comes you need to take that but here if you are doing in this method you need to add the number of odd days with respect to the number of days so the day which is assigned understood so lot of difference between there even though what pratish has uh, explained that method also you have to do in this way only but shall i give you one question sir before the one doubt i have so small doubt um, if you know the if we know the day then we can apply this method even if you don't know the day you can apply the method yes this first this method, method is the best yes. method yes even even we even without knowing the day you can apply this way understood yes, sir so that is the, that is what that is what i am explaining this method see always remember i will give you the best method please remember so this is the best method but not the shortest way but this is the best method to apply with respect to any kind of problem even in this question mentions okay here here you need to know about these things 31 12 20 20 is the sunday 111 20 21 20 is the monday this thing you need to remember or else you cannot proceed in this way but here in the first method you can do without knowing such a thing shall i give you one problem people if you are ready to solve i will give you the yes, problem sir. but not um, this question listen but not this question wait this question also we will do but not this question i'll give you the basic question but apply the first method i'm asking see if anybody not knowing the first method please tell me again i will repeat it again since it's a very important if you people understood now i will give you the question yes sir if, people choice okay i'll give you the question directly <coughs> people please keep pen and uh, try twelfth march 1940 falls on which day those who are ha- having a first method surely you will answer in a quick manner i am expecting answer from everyone so this is a very important topic
don't always rely on the recordings shruti understanding as shruti yes sir fine see those who are facing a problem please communicate logo understanding ah huh? yes sir fine ismail irkara irkar jansi understood understood jansi sir thanks you got it ah huh? very good yes sir so what is the answer ashikar tuesday tuesday yes sir people tuesday is giving tuesday anybody getting monday sir yes sir nama group la or nam wait 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 rush wait, wait, wait. sir rush sir you are my old student you know wait sir i got friday sir you got friday wait 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 i was expecting as people people please try please try whatever be the method whatever be the method even if it is wrong not an issue please jansi giving tuesday jansi giving tuesday see this coming sunday tamil nadu state public service commission is also going to happen we don't know but uh, you may get uh, 10 to 12 questions with respect to reasoning part and then 10 to 13 to 10 to 13 or uh, you will get uh, with respect to the analytical part okay aptitude part so totally 25 questions are there with respect to this area so those who need those who are going to appear in in the upcoming sundays uh, tamil nadu public service commission you may ask me i will give you all the pdf okay all the class pdfs okay i will i am ready to help i will give you all the pdf whatever i have done to the my previous batches i will give you all the pdf go through all the pdf i'm very sure that you will get a uh, some idea how to yes yes anu sunday yes anu you are going to appear ah huh? oh you are giving answer as sunday va okay answer as sunday shiny also giving answer as sunday no <coughs> so <coughs> people it's a simple method i i will teach you the again listen carefully first thing what you need to do is first thing you have to check here whether it's a leap year or non leap year so obviously it is a leap year so be careful here it's a leap year so therefore i'm going to split this as 1940 right 1940 it obviously you need to split that in terms of the multiples of a 400 so therefore 1600 then remaining is 300 the four totally 1900 over then obviously we need another 39 years then after this 39 years we need january february and then on the march we need up to 12 odd days only 12 odd days so obviously it is the 400 multiple therefore obviously you will get the zero odd days so 300 years contains how many odd days 5310 if you know this shortcut easy to remember so this is for 4 sorry this is for 4 this is for 
three, this is for one, this is for this is for hundred years, this is for two hundred years, this is for three hundred years. Therefore, three hundred contains only one odd. Okay. Then here in this thirty-nine uh, years, so what is the last four table? Thirty-six. Therefore, four into nine is so thirty-six. Therefore, nine leap year will be there. Then thirty non-leap year will be there. January contains three. Since it's a leap year, February contains one. You should be very careful here. Plus twelve. So which is equal to one? So therefore, nine leap year means nine into two. Then thirty into one. Then here fifteen uh, plus one sixteen. So now what I am going to do is one plus eighteen plus thirty plus sixteen. Okay. So therefore here forty six. Uh, then nineteen. Uh, Ah, uh, sixty-five. So therefore, it contains nine week plus two odd days. So therefore, if you are doing in this method, what would be the exact uh, day for two? Zero for Sunday, one for Monday, two for Tuesday. So therefore, answer is Tuesday. People clear? Anybody? Oh, no, not Wednesday. Kitna Tuesday? Wednesday or Tuesday? Yes, clear. People clear, ah? Huh? Anybody wants to try one more question? Sir, last part alone, I got confused, sir. Zero, one, two, three. Like nine weeks, two odd days, sir. Hmm. So that alone, I couldn't divide sixty-five with seven. Simple. Ah, yes, sir. That I got it, sir. So nine weeks, two odd days. So two is uh, defining for what each one? Zero for Sunday, one for Monday, two. Ah, yes, sir. Days. Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Understood, ah? Huh? Yes, sir. So this is the one method. So in this method, easily you can able to clear. Okay. Anybody wants to try one more question? Sir, just one question. Sir, sir, the yes, part. Sir. Hmm. Sir, I uh, directly took nineteen hundred because nineteen hundred. No, 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 no. Nineteen hundred is not the. It is not a leap year. Hmm. Understood. So I so I took one as odd days. Like, is it is it a wrong way to do? So I took because it is an. It is not a leap year, so I took like there will be one odd day, and rest I followed the same. No, either you have to come back from sixteen. No, 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 don't do such a. This is the best method. You try to apply. So I will give you one more problem. You yes. people apply in this method. Yes, sir. Done, ah, Pratish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, I'll give you one more problem. Please, ah, uh, ah, uh, do. Sincerely, with respect to this one, this method. <clears throat> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me change the question. See, basics is very important. See, I have picked lot of questions are there, but uh, I do not want to go with the question directly without uh, understanding basics. So, people, <coughs> learn simple. Twenty first July. 1632 falls on which day Sir, done, sir. Done. Very good. Rashi, your answer. Wednesday, sir. Wednesday. Wait, Rashi, your. Sir, you guys, one PDF matter. I'm sure you can find me. I'm the matter that follow. Irpa. Irpa, I'll find you. Yes, sir. நம்ம 
ஒரு Sir, please explain it, sir. Sir, I have already done two explanations, right? Each and every question. Wait, listen, listen, listen. I will do. Plus, please try to learn. Each question. If you are not getting an answer, please try to work out. Each question now. asking explanation na uh, it's quite difficult for me when you 1632 it can be done with a 1600 plus 31 years plus january february march april plus may plus please learn and try to do properly in this way may then june up to 21st okay so this contains zero in this 31 so last four multiple is 28 so the four four sevens are 28 so the four seven leap year will be the subtract that seven the four 24 non leap year will be the january contains three odd days february since it the leap year february contains 1 3 2 3 2 so 7 into 2 plus 24 into 1 plus 3 plus so add this 4 7 9 12 14 14 35 35 35 so this is 35. so here 14 plus 21 plus 35. So therefore here 35 plus 35. Am I getting wrong? 73. Where I have done mistake? 74 into 1. Ah, 24. 24. Fine. So 24. Ah, then obviously 35. 35. Then 38. Ah. So 38. The 470. Three. 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 So divide that to seventy-three with seven. So ten times seventy, obviously three odd days. So which is equal to ten weeks plus three odd days. That are three defining for a Wednesday. Understood? Ah, I don't know the person's name. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Fine. Now. wait uh, let me ask rajeshekar to explain the other method also wait learn that method also people wait the 
that is also very important method easiest method that i have done with uh, the previous uh, year okay so rajesh Okay. Let me let me write the question first. Twenty first July sixteen thirty two. First of all, you have to check with the leap year or not. Okay, leap year. Then write. Sir, no, sir. But uh, we have to uh, study some codes, sir, for that. It yes, differs. Yes. yes, tell me, Rajesh. Ah, uh, for example, you said Sunday zero, no, sir. Here mm. it starts from one. Uh, whether it will be confusing or salacious sir no no you for possible. everyone because yes, already yes. they have studied one zero sunday zero but yes, now yes. that is what I, that sunday. is why i have not explained that method rajesh agar that uh, fully you need to do ulta part yes sir okay. yes sir that is what i am not explaining that method this method is enough more than enough okay so in the examination all uh, this method is enough okay any you in the upcoming classes we will see some more question with respect to the navigation that also we will do so now listen carefully uh, here uh, i'll give you one question so just find out what is the first day april first day april With this question, I will I will raise you the few more questions. Monday, sir. Huh? Monday, Monday. Monday. I got Sunday. Monday, sir. Monday. Sunday, I got. Wait, 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 wait. Who is giving Sunday? Ashina. Ashina giving Sunday. Anybody else? Sunday sir. Sir, I'm I'm also giving Sunday. Sunday. Yes, so Sunday. Sunday. So now it's a couple. So this is two thousand plus January. February, March, then only one not day. So this is the non-leap year. You have to be very careful here. 2000 contains zero odd days. January contains three odd days. It's a non-leap year. February contains zero odd days. March contains three odd days. April contains one odd days. The first seven. So if you divide this with a seven, you will get a zero odd days. Zero defined for you. Defined for you. Sunday. therefore answer is sunday now listen carefully what is the 25th april 2021 what is the 25th april 2021 so 25th april yes of course just wait one minute okay next day next day hmm wednesday sir wednesday understanding ah huh? people so first of all after this they are asking you some question okay this is the yearly navy sorry it's a date navigation listen carefully it's a date navigation so now 1st april falls on sunday right this is second this is third this is fourth every after repeating seven days it again repeats so year 7 so add add the 4 11 right 4 plus 7 11 then yes sir here 18 Then you twenty five. So therefore twenty fifth falls on Wednesday. Understood? Ah, how to calculate this? Yes, sir. 
so this kind of questions you may expect in your state public service commission they will give you they will simply give you like uh, listen carefully they will give you 1st april 2021 was a sunday then 23rd 23rd june 2021 falls on which day they will give you simply people answer actually here you need to do the monthly navigation also then this navigation also <coughs> but uh, if you know some logic it's easy Twenty third. Saturday, sir. Any answer? Tuesday, sir. Sun Sunday. Thursday, sir. Sunday. Hmm. Sunday. So I am getting Tuesday, sir. You are getting Tuesday. It will eleven plus twenty three, right? People, this is the final question of this day. Try to answer. Thursday, sir. So Thursday, sir. Thursday. Thursday. Yes, sir. Thursday, twenty third June two thousand one. Thursday. I was making a little mistake. That is why I was getting two, but it should be four. The remainder is four. So four is for Thursday. Everybody getting? I said Thursday. What's your answer? Sir, I'm getting Saturday, sir. Monday, sir. Monday. <laughs> lot of people giving lot of answers. So now listen carefully. Monday, sir. Hmm hmm hmm. Tuesday. 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 Yes, sir. How you people are getting a Tuesday? So you people done in this way? It's a monthly navigation, like April. Wait, wait, wait. You people done this way? Two thousand plus, January plus, February plus, March plus, April plus, May plus, twenty three. No, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Here three. Listen, here three. Here three. Then here zero. Yes, sir. Then three. Three. Then two. two. Plus three. three. Then three. Here zero. Twenty-three. Yes. 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 So Six. Twenty-three eight. plus eleven, sir. Eleven. Thirty-four. Thirty-two. Yes, sir. Thirty-four. Yes, sir. Thirty-four. Ah. Yes, sir. Thirty-four. So it will be six. Thirty-four means six orders. Six. Which will be the six? Saturday. 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 What you are getting, ah, uh, Rashegar? I got Saturday. Saturday. Now listen carefully. Here April, ah. Uh, okay, April. It's a Sunday. Okay. So you people done in this way, ah, huh? Rashegar? Sir, yes, if we directly find. Hmm. Directly find also. Sunday it came. Sir. I will check on sir. Hmm. Check, 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 check. Check. Take your time. Not an issue. Others also, please try to. So this kind of question you may expect in your state public service commission. But I have not taught you the yearly navigation. Sorry, you, you, I have not taught you the monthly navigation and the date navigation. Okay. Uh, after this, uh, 
you surely people will answer but i have projected you this question because this kind of question you may expect in your state public service commission that is why i am fine so for example in the upcoming classes you know we are going to see the how to proceed the uh, first of all how to proceed the monthly navigation then date navigation etc don't worry so i'm waiting for uh, raj shekhar okay those who are having a doubt you may stay on those who are not having a doubt uh, you may leave this class i am concluding this session today we'll meet in the next class again okay thank you all